Hi, it's me, Elma, from twinsmommy.com. I'm going to show you right now how to create a pin for Pinterest using PicMonkey. All right? When you go to PicMonkey, you can sign up to a, a free trial at seven days. All right? So once you log in, we're going to go to design. And we're going to use a blank canvas. All right? Now you can go here and click on Pinterest. And you have three pins to choose from using PicMonkey. You can use an extra long pin if you want, a short pin or medium. For now, I'm going to use a medium pin, okay? So what you want to do is you can upload your um, favorite image that you want. So if you go to the butterfly here, you they call it an overlay. You just go to my computer and you add a picture. So you can double click on it and then it will show up. And then you can resize it afterwards. So here it is. And you can just pull on these to resize it. All right, so that's good. And you can move it around to see what you want to show. Mm, let's be a little bit more white. Okay. So once you have that, you can start building your pin. And there's different ways to build your pin. You can add uh, a text straight on top. You can add a text box if you find that it's too cluttered. Um, right now this pin doesn't have a lot of white space, so I'm probably going to use a text box to, to show that. And so we can get started um, by adding those, those things if you want. And you can look around, sorry, with PicMonkey there's a lot of um, different things you can do. Um, you can change the quality of the image if you want to make it more maybe if you want to post on Instagram or brighten things up. Um, that's a lot of cool functions here. You can have fun with PigMonkey. Um, here is if you have a, a photo of a person, you can add some touch-ups and you can even have fun with adding maybe some whiskers or highlights, <laughs> which is pretty cool. Here are your fonts and you can um, look at all the different fonts they've added recently and they also um, have it separated by certain types so a serif font versus a script and whatnot so you can look at that uh, this butterfly are just um, overlays so again if you want to add uh, the text box that i was showing you you can just go here you can add hearts there's lots of different things um, certain lines um, you can add on your image and um, even arrows so you can add lots of different types of arrows here. All right, and um, these are more borders. Um, you can put a picture inside of it. Um, and then these are just, again, more options um, for customizing your picture. Oh, let's go back. <laughs> All right, so let's let's get a, um, a text box on here. So I'm just gonna use this one. And I'm going to just fill it out and see how we're going to get this going. Um, okay, we can make it transparent. There's lots of different things we can, oh, that's kind of nice. Make it look. And we can also make it a different color. So if I wanted to, um, that looks nice. All right. I'm wondering if I do a rectangle instead. That might be more in tune to this pin. So I'm just going to try that option. So I can also maybe do something like that. Okay, that's looking nice. And I might just make it F, 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 F. Let's find white. There you go. If you do a bunch of Fs, you eventually get white. <laughs> and I'm going to add a little bit of fading. Okay, so that's starting to look good. So the next thing you want to do, if so if you have a busy picture behind you, you can add a text box. 
and then you can add your font on top of that and again you can spend hours I love fonts and I could spend hours but I'm not going to <laughs> um, so once you click on the font that you want you can add text and then you can add your text here so let's say um, grow your let's have fun with that We'll put it up here and you can stretch it to make it bigger if you want this way or you can use the size here and slide it that way um, and you can um, play around with these functions if you want but I typically don't and let's use a nice fancy font that I like to call they have some really nice um, brush and script fonts here copy break is cute so let's do that one. Um, grow your blog. Um, grow your blog using Pinterest. Let's see how that looks. That's a lot of words with that font, eh? Grow your blog. Let's try that. Um, with your pins, you want to have big fonts so that people can read them when they're um, scrolling. So grow your blog. This might need to be just a tad bigger. There, grow your blog, and then we can go back here using, oops, so I have that and I can make it a little bigger, that looks good using and then I'll just say Pinterest so with your with your pins you don't want to use too many um, fonts um, I'd stick to two three at the most um, but I wouldn't go over that um, it just sort of makes it a little bit unprofessional and it's hard to read at times if you have lots of different types of fonts so we're gonna use this for Pinterest and we're gonna make that big we're gonna try to they're using Pinterest and we can change the color so if you know the red of Pinterest you can um, let's go over here to this red there we go and so something like that, use grow your blog using Pinterest and change the width. There we go. Once you have your title and the type of fonts you want to use, the spacing, um, again, you can play around with all of this. Make sure at the bottom you put your, um, your brand, so your blog, in the font that you use. So I'm just going to use this one. like that and then um, just place that at the bottom I'd make it super small there we go there so that's one way you can create a pin you can add again you can add things you know with um, with pick monkey oops maybe you can put um, like a little box here make a thin line and space it out like that that adds a nice touch and 
there. Um, and you can add some elements too. If you have a freebie, you can add a freebie there at the bottom. Um, so there's lots of things you can have fun with. Um, here are the layers that you have on your on your pin. So you can move these around. So um, if, let's say, the word blog, you can put it under the rectangle. See? So it's not showing if you wanted to do that. Or you can move it up. This is kind of um, one of the reasons why I really am enjoying PicMonkey because it's very similar to Photoshop. Um, Photoshop uses layers to build your graphics, and um, that's primarily how I build my pin graphics um, is by using layers. So PicMonkey has incorporated that. And it's real easy to move things around and to group things. So there you go. So once you have your pin, all you have to do is export it. And um, you can name it right here. So I'm going to just call it, whoops, blog pin. And you, you can change the quality based on what you want. So I'm just going to stick with the pierce right here. I like the size. So I'm not going to change that. And um, JPEG is fine. I would only use PNG or um, if I'm using sort of like a, like a graphic of, of um, like a vector image kind of thing, cartoony kind of thing, not like a real photo, or if it's really text-based. And there you go. And then you just hit export to computer, or you can just download it. I like to just do download because it's super quick. Then you upload that to your blog or you can go directly to Pinterest and manually add that pin and set your description. And there you go. That's how you create a beautiful, gorgeous pin using PicMonkey.